out of Mills, Mills Ammunition. Hope you're having a great day. Like, comment, share, pass the story along. Veteran-owned, family-run uh, ammunition business taking on the big guys, right? Uh, so <laughs> we're at the range today. Uh, so I've got several videos coming out about felt recoil energy and perceived recoil. Uh, those are two different things, and we'll get into that. Uh, part of the things, part of something that you can do to uh, manage uh, felt or perceived recoil is with springs. Um, this is a Ruger SR9C. Um, we're shooting outdoors today, and one of the advantages, there's many, many advantages about shooting outdoors. Uh, one of the advantages of shooting outdoors is, is you can actually see where your cases are ejecting to. Uh, the goal is to have your case eject to about six to eight feet from the uh, from the gun. So, um, a lot of Glock guys, for sure, uh, you know, tuning your gun uh, competition-wise, same thing. Tuning your gun is, is a big thing. Um, so this Ruger SR9C comes with a 16-pound spring. Um, the nice folks at Galloway Precision uh, make uh, replacement springs or different springs, right? So this is an 18 pounder and this is a 14 pounder. So what I would tell you is, is shoot outdoors and see what your cases are actually doing. That's going to help with that, that uh, perceived recoil. It's also going to make sure that your gun is functioning the way it should be. So today we're going to do a quick, quick test and we're going to see the distance of uh, where these cases go. Um, from the gun and we're going to see what needs to be tuned and where we're at. We're going to be shooting uh, our 115 grain uh, full metal jacket round nose, obviously a very common um, round. One difference of Mills ammunition is, is we load our ammunition to uh, a power factor of 130. We'll talk about that in some other videos, maybe even this one, but it's basically a way to measure um, uh, and, and assure that competitors are shooting the same amount of oomph power factor, right? So the energy um, is similar, right? So you don't, you know, easy story, right? If you're shooting a 22 versus a nine millimeter, someone who's shooting that 22 is gonna be able to put shot after shot exactly where they want it easier because their muzzle is not rising as much. That's the same thing, honestly, with all kinds of shooting. You want to be able to have follow-up shots. Follow-up shots are imperative. They are imperative. If you're in self-defense, I highly, I, I just don't believe you're gonna put one round, you're gonna put multiple rounds, and you want them to go where you intend them to go. And part of that is figuring out what spring to use. So, uh, we're gonna get shooting here. Um, right now, like I said, right now there's a 16 pound spring in there. Uh, we're gonna start with the 14, we'll go to 18. Um, and springs are also, like I said, is, it's based on the ammunition that you're shooting. Heavier weight, hotter load um, is gonna uh, affect uh, a spring choice. So uh, we're gonna be shooting 115, so we're gonna see what those do. Thanks. So we're gonna begin with the 14 pound spring. Those suckers got away pretty good. There we go. That's one. The other one's right here. So that's pretty far. Dude, that's really far. That's 10 feet right there. Damn. So that was, that was 12 feet. So let's change the spring 
and see what we get. Okay, so now we've got the stock 14 pound spring. I got a bow. Okay, cool. Yep. Here we are. So our goal is to get from six to six to eight feet. That's eight foot. So we're at nine feet seven inches. All right, let's try the, the heavy daddy, the 18 pounder. So this should get us right where we are. We should be, every time we go up, we should get about two feet difference. And I, I, we basically did. Uh, so this should get us right in that six to eight foot range. That did the trick. So we're at, with the first one, we're at seven feet seven inches. So it did take about two feet off. And the next one, we're right at. Eight feet four inches. So the forty pound or the uh, eighteen pound spring is the way to go. That's perfectly tuned for this gun uh, to help with recoil and make sure the gun runs the way it's supposed to do. Shooting outdoors is the key. Everything that we're going to be doing in these next two videos is about repeating shots. That muzzle coming back down and being able to deliver the next shot, the next shot, the next shot. People spend thousands of dollars on Atlas Gunworks, Staccatos, guns like that that are weighted, they're pretty heavy and they're also weighted on the muzzle so that that muzzle rise does not go higher than need be. So those are going to be our next videos. Uh, hope this helped you figure out how to tune your gun, get shooting outdoors, try different springs, tune to, uh, tune, tune to what the cases tell you. Thanks.